Well, it looks like we got a flat. We're gonna need to swap a tube. I'll start by removing the rear fender. This way I don't have to lift the bike so high to get the tire out. Especially since it's only four bolts to get it off. Now I'll loosen the axle nut, followed by the brake adjustment. Then the drive shaft assembly. And the brake strut. Now the entire rear assembly just pulls out. Now pull the axle nut off and disassemble. Just remember where all your spaces and washers go. Now remove the valve stem. I used a bottle jack and a jeep to break the bead. Now it's time for the tire irons. The process is just like a bicycle. Here's the culprit. It was a rim protector from a tire machine. It was in there the whole time and punctured the tube. Now put the new one in, valve stem first. Now it's time to put the bead back on. Be very careful not to pinch the tube with these irons. One little touch and you gotta start all over again. Alright, let's put it back on the bike. But first we have to clean and grease the splines on the shaft drive. Also the ones in the hub. Just stuff as much grease as you can in there. These hubs are really expensive, don't ask me how I know. Now just reassemble it and put it back on the bike. Be sure to put all your bolts in first, finger tight. Then do the axle, then go back and tighten everything down. Now put the fender and seats back on and you're ready to ride. I'm going for a ride. See you next time on the Maker Hack Shack.